I'm here with Michelle Gowder of Regen Composites. Uh, Regen Composites is a place that takes waste material and turns it into marketable products that are strong and durable and uh, I guess environmentally sustainable. That's the biggest part. So I guess tell me a little bit about some of the products, uh, what you make them out of and what the stuff is here on the table. Absolutely. One of the things that makes us really exciting is that in um, the recycling industry or world, one of the hardest things to do is combine plastic materials. And we have found a patent pending way in able to be able to do that. So what we take are all the things that people think aren't recyclable. Things like your water bottles are already considered recyclables, but the tops are not. We can take those. We can mingle them together. We don't need to take the plastic papering off. Um, we take your subway cups, these beauties that everybody's trying to find a place for, as well as the dreaded coffee cup. These can also be recycled into our material. So we have our little brag board, which is all the products that we can take and put into our mix. And then what we do is we combine those products down um, through a shredding and granulating and reformulating process, and we bring it down to some basics. So what we have here is one of the items that we made, which is a bench. So can, um, I have a, can I have a seat on this bench? Absolutely, I'd love okay. to invite you okay. to have a seat. So the bench itself is extremely durable. It's hard. It's about 300 pounds of diverted waste material. There is not one ounce of new material in this bench. That's unbelievable. So how, what is the process of making something like this? Oh, good question. So what we do is we take our raw material. We have a technically um, patented process that we do that. In. Okay. I can't tell you what it is, but it's, <laughs> it's what makes us different. <laughs> and from that, we are able to compress and create uh, a blocks of material. So this is in the process of being certified to be able to be used as a cinder block replacement. Okay. It is stronger than cinder block. It has a better compressive strength, a better tensile strength. Mm -hmm. It has um, a higher R value. So the R value of um, a cinder block is about two. Okay. The R value of this is 17. Oh, wow. Okay. You can nail directly to it. Mm -hmm. It is mold resistant, rot resistant, bug resistant, water resistant, fire resistant. <laughs> um, and as one of the most interesting things about our comp composite mosaic material is that it actually floats. So it is so resistant to water that water cannot penetrate into That's it. That's amazing. That makes us one of the most unique composite materials out in the market today. Mm -hmm. So we have this product, which we are very, very excited about, which should, we're hoping, be out into the market within about two years. Okay, awesome. So just speaking of you guys being a unique type of business, uh, you were telling me that you are one of the only, if not the only, place in Canada that does this. That's exactly correct. Okay. So many of the companies out there right now are streamlined to take only one type of plastic. Mm -hmm. So they'll take only the ones or the twos, which are um, the most highly recyclable, only at 23%, um, which is still means there's 75% making its way to landfill or waterways. Mm -hmm. So we are the only company that can combine all of these different plastics together, which makes us very, very unique mm -hmm. in the marketplace. Awesome. Okay, well, I guess because you would be the expert, if people are wanting to make their homes you know, more environmentally sustainable and if they are wanting to uh, find ways to be better at recycling, what are some ways that they can do that? Well, excellent, good question. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that we always recommend is that there are some plastics that are one-use plastics. Mm -hmm. Those one-use plastics can always be replaced by a longer life plastic. Mm -hmm. And it should be every household's goal to work towards that. Okay. Um, the second thing is that um, in your home, you should also take a look at ways in which you can find um, substitutes. Mm -hmm. So water filters. Water mm -hmm. filters attached to your um, um, faucets are a great option. Um, making sure that you use wood hangers versus plastic hangers. And sometimes it's a little bit more of an expense, but um, in the end, they last longer and they tend to work better. So yeah, we, we definitely recommend that we reduce the plastics that we consume. Mm -hmm. But if you feel that you need to consume plastics like those, then what we need to do is encourage government mm -hmm. and um, uh, the people in power to be able to allow companies like ourselves mm -hmm. to exist so that we can take those waste plastics, mm -hmm. we can create products, and then those products that we create, we can recycle. Mm -hmm. So we need to encourage the growth of those companies because, mm -hmm. um, like we say in this industry, the faucet is turned on, the drain is too small. Mm. So it continues to spill out over the side. And what we're trying to do is continue to sleep pull that drain so the drain is either bigger mm -hmm. or the tub or the water coming out is smaller. Right. Okay. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, You're Michelle Gowder. Um, this was Regen Composites. And uh, I guess 
yeah, just if you want more information on how to better recycle, I'm sure you can visit their website. Absolutely. Please visit our website at www.regencomposites.com.